My study looks at the effect of attention on memory for emotional stimuli in Asperger's patients. So we're, we're using eye tracking in a source memory task for facial stimuli, which are generally considered the most emotional stimuli. So for Asperger's, how that would be applicable would be if we were in a discussion in a social situation and say the Asperger's person did something like socially inappropriate. They would not have very good memory for the context of that event later on, so they wouldn't know when they should modify their behavior. The big idea is that when Asperger's are in social situations, they get very anxious, and they show this eye avoidance response. They look away or they look at your forehead, and so they don't perceive the emotion, and so they have poor source memory for the emotion. Um, you sit down with the eye tracker, and you see a series of faces wearing one of three expressions, either a neutral expression, a happy expression, or a kind of an angry negative expression. And then during the test phase, you see more faces. Some of them are the same people, some of them are different people, and it asks you two questions. The first is just um, simple recognition. Have you seen this person before in the encoding phase? And then it asks if their expression is the same or different from the first time you saw them. And uh, if you can remember that, then you're remembering the context and you've made some specific association the first time you saw them. So if we find out that attention is kind of the root cause for source memory deficits in Asperger's patients, then we can use that to increase attention and increase source memory, which will make it easier for them to modify their behavior in social situations.